Got some moose meat here. This is a story of people whose families have lived here forever. This guy here was the carver. I even the New Hawk people. <laughs> and the New Hawk leaders want to save their Eden from mining. Mining which they fear could destroy sacred mountains and a precious ecosystem. Which is everything to them. We're headed out to see a totem pole. A totem pole put there to remind people this is the home of the New Hulk. This is the first time I've been back ever since it's been put up. It's a particularly meaningful trip for hereditary chief Snukyaltwa, also known as Derek Snow. And the feeling that I have right now is so spiritual. Oh man, I'm just getting the jitters here right now. It's a really strong connection to this land of our ancestors. You could probably shut it off. I'm so happy it's still standing. And um, I see that the bear has been putting some scratch marks on there, so just letting us know that it's his home too. <laughs> Our little village used to be right here. In 1995, we made a stand against the logging company. We got arrested. We went to jail. Oh my God. Nobody told us we had to work. I'm telling you this story because now we understand um, the spirituality of these totem poles. We alone. We alone. We We For Snukyaltwa, this pole is a landmarker, and it's meant to send a message. We Back then, it was a direct tax, and, and by us putting the totem poles up within our territory, it's spiritual now. They can't send the RCMP out to take a totem pole down. They cannot put handcuffs on the totem pole. So the government now has to face our Nukok spirit in order to mine. never signed a treaty with any government. A company named Juggernaut Exploration is studying three locations near Bella Coola. Juggernaut reported a half million dollars in exploration expenditures near Bella Coola at the end of 2021 and expects to have spent another two million there by the end of 2023. And according to what they're telling their investors, there's gold in those mountains. You seem pretty excited about what you discovered in BC. Yeah, uh, Juggernaut Exploration has discovered uh, what we would call a new shear hosted gold camp. We're finding veins that are a thousand meters in strike length, that's a kilometer, 20 meters wide, and they're running up to three and a half ounces gold. Very rare to find anything at surface these days that was never known before. I've watched TV shows and they're in that much gold but they had to destroy and dig a whole big area for that one little bit, little bit of gold. And then there are the literally poisonous effects associated with gold mining.
And it also means for Derek and other community leaders that it's time for totem poles to have a comeback of sorts in New Hulk territory. It's gonna bring back the story of that mountain. It's gonna bring back all the history of of each and every one of our families that lived there. And we want to tell the world that we are still Nukalkum. We are still alive and we are still here. See this here? This can go this can go down a little further, right? Even with it. Yeah. There's this line. Wing right there, right? Yeah. And then this way you were talking, Jeff, that way? Yeah. The slope down? Yeah. So you gotta put another cut line in here, right? See it? You just gotta level this up then. This totem induced reawakening of the mountains will involve three new poles. We don't First mind up. sharing our beautiful valley. Yeah. I really wouldn't want somebody to come in here and think they own it. Yeah and take it and destroy it. Harry Schooner, who carved the pole at South Bentic, is helping carve the new poles, too. My new hog name is Krakos. That means wild man of the woods. He's been a carver since he was a child. The elders blessed me to be a thunder mask carver. Yeah, they did a ceremony for me when I was about seven years old, yeah. And the creation stories he alludes to in his carvings connect him and all the New Hulk people to the surrounding mountains. Our stories go back to the beginning of time, eh? when we descended from a place called Nusmara, that's in the heavens. Eh? And my dad's side, they came in the form of the eagle. The head carver is the youngest of the three, Justin Nelson. This is the four carpenters. And um, they created the raven, and the raven um, kind of like helped build the world. And this is the grizzly bear down here uh, holding a copper that represents the chieftainship. Copper is another one of the elements Juggernaut is interested in near Balakula. The New Hawk Nation will be raising three poles in areas near where Juggernaut is exploring to try to keep the copper in the bear's paws, not Juggernaut's. With these kinds of arguments against mining, one might wonder how it is that exploration has come to New Hawk territory. Sam Pasco is director of the New Hawk Stewardship Office. It's a case of being ignored, despite the fact that the province see this as minor works. Um, it, it's not minor works, it's drilling holes in mountains, it's extracting minerals, and it's opening the door to future expansion of gold mining. Pasco tells us the band is unsatisfied with the engagement they're getting through the Coastal First Nations Reconciliation Agreement. Juggernaut have applied for a total of three permits. Uh, one is still going through the process, um, but uh, the nation objected to the first two, and despite that, the British Columbia decided to go ahead and issue the permits to Juggernaut. The protocol agreement Pasco is referring to involves payments of tens of thousands of dollars to signatory nations including the New Hawk Nation. But aside from accepting money for engagement they feel ignores them, the New Hawk Nation is sending signals they don't want anything to do with Juggernaut. Jason Moody hopes people wanting to mine the area get the message. Moody is the fisheries and wildlife manager with the New Hawk Stewardship Office. Yeah, that's the main town site right there. He gave me his assessment of what mining in nearby mountains could mean. As you can see, all the waterways are connected um, in this area. That would be the Niklitskani River. That would be the Balakula River. Later, he took me out to show me what he meant. Across the river here, uh, up above Four Mile Mountain, that's where they're flying every day and going up there every day. It's 7 a.m. sharp, right over my house. The potential for contaminating this pristine system uh, both to the Nicolet on that side and over to the other side down into Salump is huge. 
pristine and delicate, to the point, Moody says, that mining could push it over the edge. His office is in charge of protecting fish populations. And you're talking about salmon in this river, millions of years of evolution there that we're trying to hold on to. Ooligan. But it's Ooligan that is particularly fundamental to the New Hulk identity. The most important thing, right? If you can make grease, it's one of the highest in nutrients. The amount of good fatty acids that are in that are amazing. Like, it's been talked about that the contents of Ooligan grease can actually offset cancer. But nowadays, Ooligan isn't nearly as plentiful as it once was. We know um, how sensitive they are when they spawn. So if they were to spawn in this shallow water here, you wouldn't want to walk through that water. From Moody's perspective, the outside world ought to see the value in protecting a place like this. Bears are down to their final, you know, 10% of their natural habitat. Well, we want to keep all that. We can't have this up here. Having watched helicopters ferry juggernaut workers to sacred New Hulk mountaintop locations around Bella Coola, Jacinda Mack, who goes by her New Hulk name, Nuskmata, decided to arrange a chopper ride up there too in 2021. Juggernaut Exploration Limited is literally stealing our land through these core samples and we have asked for them to return what they have taken without consent and so we're taking these small pieces as a reminder um, to our our stadaldom to our leadership um, that this is real and happening right now <laughs> That's part of the song um, of Chief Kulis, and that is where we are. We're on the mountain where his ancestors descended on the eyelashes of the sun. We acknowledge the surroundings that we live in, not for means of exploitation, but a means of preservation to ensure that the wealth that we inherit from this world can be passed down to the next generation. Nuskmata lives in Williams Lake, the site where a mining tailings pond burst in 2014. The memory of that disaster has a lot to do with why she rallied New Hulk leadership to help her deliver an eviction notice to Juggernaut. We're the lawful authority with jurisdiction here. Juggernaut has never received consent through our ancestral government to operate here in New Hulk Ulun, sovereign New Hulk territory. Yeah, I'll pass it on. I'm just a contractor here. Right. Well, after that, boys, time to go home. In spite of Nuskmata's eviction notice, Juggernaut has continued to do their exploration work in the mountains into 2022. And so the New Hulk have continued their resistance. When APTN investigates visited Bella Coola, New Hulk hereditary chief Snukyeltwa organized a community gathering. with a meeting to discuss mining exploration. We have a responsibility to the eagle, raven, the loon, the grizzly bear, to everything that we wear on our backs when we dance and if anybody else wants to speak and come up and speak, the mic is open. Though the attendance level didn't overwhelm the hall's capacity, people came to voice their concerns about the idea of mining New Hulk territory. I would like to see them take that tailings 
put in a glass and drink it. They wouldn't do that. They promised us jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. It, it's like when I first... Community member Robert Andy says he's worked in mining and seen how hiring works. Out of those 256 workers, there's only 10 people that actually that are, are Aboriginal, but they, um, they don't have to hire the people that are actually from that place. And hereditary chief Jeffrey Snow worries that Juggernaut's exploration could lead to open pit mining they do that, then basically that mountain will be leveled or most of it taken down. We need a stronger say, we need a stronger voice, you know, and the only way that we're going to do that is if we're in there, we're making the rules. The elected chief councillor turned up for the gathering too, and we went for a walk. My new cock name is uh, Tim Dimut, uh, means to come back strong. My uh, given name is uh, Samuel Alexander Schooner. Where we should be. Schooner says he would like Juggernaut to come out and hear from his people. That's the best route is to bring them in and, you know, have them come into a community meeting. I ain't being dishonest by saying this, but we have the best water in the world. You know, the thought of risking losing all of that for mining operations that, that really, um, you know, there's no accountability or, you know, if something happens to our land, they get to walk away with nothing. We tried to get Juggernaut to comment on what they're doing in Bella Coola or respond to concerns we were hearing from the New Hulk people. But they wouldn't. We did, however, manage to connect with their CEO, Dan Stewart, briefly. Dan Stewart? My name is Chris Reed. I'm a reporter. I'm speaking to some people in Bella Coola. Uh, who have concerns about your mining exploration up there. And I'm wondering if you might uh, consider speaking to me about this uh, at some point. We have no comment. Is that it? You don't want to even consider talking to me? We, we have no comment. We even tried showing up right at Juggernaut's corporate office to see if Stewart might reconsider, but no luck. I'm actually in the lobby uh, of uh, the building on uh, West West Case Beach. Right? However, if we go by what Juggernaut tells its investors in reports, there are riches to be found in the mountains around Bella Coola. But back in Bella Coola, New Hulk mother and daughter Eleanor and Rhonda Schooner are looking for a different sort of riches. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Should we uh, head down? Sure. Unsla Komotla, that's my New Hulk name. Uh, I come from the village of Chmoch. Unsla Son Juana, my name is Eleanor Violet Son Juana Schooner. I always like to stop and eat the trees. Just a little piece of the tip, you can eat it. If you chew on it, you can spit it out, mix it with your saliva. Helps to calm your, you know, digestive system. Ganusham. Ganusham. Anali Kwesli Dus Managais! Anali Kwesli Dus Managais! Now our ancestors know who's here, the spirit of the land knows who's here. This uh, area that I brought you to is the estuary. This place will fill right up with uh, water, uh, salt water. And there's a playground inside there swinging on trees. Oh boy. It's Tarzan. <laughs> I love my husband, Tarzan. <laughs> For the schooners, the estuary has always been a haven that provides nourishment too. Over here. Some plantain. So this plantain, I use it for in my salves and you could take it and you could chew it, put it onto a, a 
bug bite, stuff that soothes with plantain and that helps uh, um, clear up stinky feet. <laughs> and it's a very sacred place to be on your land. We would eat right off the land as we were kids. I don't remember you know, being so hungry to have to run home, we would just eat the rose hips and the, and the, the plantain. It's right here. You see how thick, nice and thick they are? Oh, this is our favorite. We used to fight for this one here. Eleanor Schooner believes it's time to be heard. If they want the mine here, we want to hear that. She wants. If they don't want the mine here, we want to hear that. Because I think we as a people that live here should have a say whether the mine should come or not. With Rhonda and Eleanor Schooner as tour guides, the estuary reveals itself as a nexus of fertility, a key part of the overall cradle of the New Hulk civilization which the whole ecosystem represents. What is this? I'm sorry. Yarrow. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, when we were kids, we called it the stinky weed. Our people had a agreement with this, our supernatural beings. They let us know that they are being bothered. And so knowing that these helicopters are going over there and some of our people are talking about how they're showing themselves. And I said, you know, it's because things are happening that are not supposed to happen and we're not having respect for them. We 